Since losing in last year's national championship game, the UW Oshkosh Titans have wanted nothing more to get back to the Stag Bowl this year. The only thing left standing in their way, today's NCAA semifinal showdown against Mount Union. And you had to break out the heaters for this one because it was cold. But you know, that's usually a good sign if you're still playing football in the snow. Pick things up, tied at seven in the second quarter. Brett Casper hooks up with his primary target, Sam Minkowski. What a career these two seniors have had. Minkowski takes it 86 yards to the house. 14 to 7 Titans still in the second. Dom Tottarello hauling in the kickoff, does some fancy footwork, breaks loose from the pile, and he goes 68 yards on this play. The Heartland native trying to score. He's finally dragged down inside the 20. So Tottarello denied the touchdown. Then on the ensuing possession, Casper says, you know what? You do deserve that, Tutty Tottarello. What a pass and what a catch in the back of the end zone. Oshkosh up 21 to 10 at the half. Titans start the third quarter with a pick six. Then they follow that up with this. Hortonville's own Mitch Gerhardt's breaking free for 43 yards and yet another six pack. It's now 35 to 10. This game seems like it's already run. Well, well hold on a second. Mountain Union finds a way to close out the last six and a half minutes of the third quarter with three consecutive touchdowns. And just like that, the Titans lead is by five. Raiders try for two. Whoops. Quarterback D'Angelo Fulford had some trouble with the football. And Derek Jennings Jr. says, look what I found. The linebacker runs it back the distance, officially scored as a safety. So it's 38 to 30. One more score for the Titans might seal the deal. Oh no, that is not good. Brett Casper throws a rare interception to Luis Berry. He fumbles the football on his return, manages to scoop it back up. This game was just getting wild. It's suing possession for Mount Unions. Joanna's Evans Morris punches in the option from a yard out and Mountain Union has the lead. One second on the clock. Oshkosh can tie this thing, send it to OT with a field goal, and the kick falls short. And so too did the Titans in an absolutely remarkable comeback by the Raiders. Mountain Union wins it 43 to 40. The Raiders are now, get this, 120 and one in road games dating all the way back to the 1994 season. That's incredible. And UW Oshkosh's season can also be described as incredible. And even though it was tough to end it the way they did, the Titans are sure proud of what they accomplished. They proved why they're champions, came back. Uh, very proud of my team, pr very proud of these guys. They've done a lot. Last couple of years, we won a lot of football games. And uh, it's unfortunate, but you get to this level, someone's got to go home. and. Uh, we're the one going home. It's been awesome. Um, still feel like we've kind of come short on our goals a little bit, but um, you know the, the seasons we've put together, I think, has, has changed the program a little bit and, and put it into a, a high caliber type program. Um, so I think we're, we're definitely leaving the, the program in good hands. I think the best decision I ever made was coming to UW Oshkosh and uh, just had an awesome time. Played a lot of good teams, a lot of good football. Like Brett said, I think we're leaving in good hands. I think they're going to keep moving in the right direction.